Okay, I am here at NAB 2024, and I'm going to walk the Central Hall. I'm going to start here with Sony Booth, and then I've kind of mapped it out, some of the places that I'm going to be going. Man, you can come along with me. I think you're going to like it. I'm going to uh, head over to Zayum over here, and then Nanline, and Aperture, and Polyland, and DJI, and probably hit Sure and Small Rig before I get to Insta360 and from Canon. And I'll tell you everything I've learned so far on day one of NAB 2024. Um, probably not gonna get all the way down to newer Deity and Freewell. And by the way, Black Magic is in the South Hall and I haven't even been there yet. So I'm not gonna get any Black Magic. Well, that's what's coming up. Let's uh, get started with the Sony booth. Now, Sony hasn't announced anything new. Uh, but they have a new lens that's going to be coming out apparently on Tuesday. This is Sunday. Um, so, well, you'll just have to get that. And maybe, maybe I'll be able to see it here. Or maybe they won't even know what it is. Because it's a G lens. It's not a GM lens. It's not really a video lens. All right. Let's uh, get started. And we're grab my stuff. Oh, oh. Let's get going. And let's go see what we've got over at the Sony booth. I always like the Sony booth. Here, let me switch this around. Here we go. Sony booth is great because uh, like all these big companies, they set up these great sets. And then basically you can come and check out your camera, which you've got over here. And then you can see them right here. And then you can actually see right up there the camera. And you can actually get hands on with these very expensive cameras. Well, we're on the expensive side. And so, uh, I'm going to move around to the less expensive side, a camera that I could probably afford, something in the uh, FX3 line, for example. Let's go look at their Cine line. But they've got all kinds of things for broadcasting and network stuff, and they basically just build their own little city over here, and Sony usually is in the corner. They like the corner spot. In fact, they've been here for I don't know how many years at NAB. And uh, I've seen some of these same sets, though, too. So. Maybe they're saving a few bucks there, but there's always something exciting. They're doing some virtual production stuff over there. Looks like they're on the moon, apparently. And usually at NAB, there'll be some presenters that will come and present stuff. And then you've got, again, different cameras. Here's the FX3, for example. Nice camera there, all kind of rigged out. And this um, is great because you can just you know, actually get your hands on it and see it. Whereas, you know, when you live where I do, well, you can't get your hands on any of this stuff until you order it and get it shipped into you. So it's kind of, um, kind of fun. Um, anyway, it's also very noisy at NAB, which you'll find out as we walk around because there's always somebody blasting something somewhere. Cloud is big, of course. Everything's in the cloud these days. We're wrapping around again to the this section. Let's get through, see where we're at. Well, okay, so not a lot of news from Sony, but you know, it's always nice to see what Sony's up to and how much money they're spending on their sets, which has to be a lot, a lot of money. All right, let's just go on down here and see what else we got. There are hundreds and hundreds of booths at NAB, and so <laughs> not going to be able to catch them all. And some of them are new startups, and others used to have huge booths, and now they're just down to small, tiny booths, and some people aren't here at all. In fact, the road, which got bought out by Mackey, they're not even here, and they were a big presence last year. In fact, they were just right over there, as I recall. This is the B&H presenter stage and this is kind of cool because you can find some of your hi how are you good you can see some of your great presenters over here i remember i saw philip bloom here once uh, he did a little uh, presentation you'll see different people i saw some people here from aperture talking about environmental lighting earlier this morning that was pretty cool uh, right now of course we're taking a break but there's a schedule somewhere around here and so you can find out what's going on and get something cool. And of course, B&H has sales as well. So here's, for example, their sale catalog. So you can go in here. They have shows that are just or specials that are available uh, just for the show. And uh, that's kind of cool. So 
B and H always a big presence, okay. and this year is no exception. Well, let's just walk down here. So another thing B and H does that's so great is that they've got little sets of their own with their own cameras set up. Not their own cameras, but cam all kinds of different cameras that they sell. And then of course, if we get down here, we see lots and lots of different things to touch and check out and see what's going on. Again, we get another little virtual set over there. I don't know if you can see that very well. Where's that? The problem with vlogging with a wide angle lens is, you know, and so we're just you really can't to see to too much. Oh, and here's some road stuff. Look at that. There's a person with a road shirt. Maybe there is somebody here from road. Oh, look at that. It's Ryan from road. Well, I lied about Road not having a presence. It looks like they're here at the B&H booth. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. That's good. Good. I thought you guys weren't going to be here this no, year. No, we decided to do something with B&H again. Yeah, this we is great. We a couple of products this morning. Yeah, tell me about it. If you wanted to get some content, Ryan's, Ryan can do a little piece of camera. Maybe I can do that tomorrow, but right now I'm just doing a little live stream. So yeah, it's still, sure. just something quick. Interview Pro. Here, I'm going to move this around here so I can see it too. Let's see if I can do All right. There we go. The Interview Pro. Interview Pro. This so is the mic. It's a wireless handheld condenser mic. Oh, that's and great. It works with any of our Series 4 wireless microphones. Yeah. So uh, that means the, the Wireless Go, the Wireless Me, Wireless Pro, or the Rodecaster Pro 2 or Duo. You can it goes right into it. Exactly. So it just comes with the transmitter, um, but you can also record on board. So it uh, has 32 bit float on board, on board recording. There you go. So you can record all your audio on here. You don't even need to connect it to a camera if you don't want to. Uh, it's got 40 hours of internal memory, uh, 25 hours of battery life. Check this thing out. That is pretty awesome. It's, it's light, a, too. It's, it's light, but it's light. also yeah, yeah, well it's made. Robust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's got the recording button, so you can trigger the onboard recording using the button right there. And it's also just got a quick mute switch. If you're doing a presentation to camera, you want to quickly mute the microphone. That's great, especially if we're doing things like this. Exactly, right? yeah. yeah. So omnidirectional condenser capsule, so it means it picks up sound from all around the, uh, the capsule. Okay. So it means it's very forgiving when you're doing interviews. Do you, do you know price on that? It's uh, $249. Well worth it. You know, Rode always makes really good microphones. I have a number of them, and they've always been good to me. I really like the PodMic USB. It's yeah, been a great microphone. Yeah. Really. Well, what else is new? We, uh, we also announced this is the phone cage. Oh, yeah. It's a magnetic mobile filmmaking cage. I was so. going to say, it seems like for a really big phone. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get down there, yeah. Oh yeah, that's great. Oh, there oh. it goes. And apparently a weak magnet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was uh, that was my slip of the finger. No, no, I, I, I get it. So yeah, that's uh, works with any MagSafe iPhone or any MagSafe compatible accessory. So if you've got a, you know, a Samsung and you have a MagSafe uh, case. And then uh, it's really good for put, hooking up the Rode mic. Exactly. The Rode, so, you the know, go you, that or... could be your whole setup if you're shooting running gun stuff. Yeah. You know, doing interviews. Um, yeah. It has 33 connection points. I'm gonna pull back a little so we can see it. Yeah. So you can. You know, you can connect handles, you can connect grips. Yeah. All right, let me see this thing. Oh, it feels good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's light and light sturdy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, always quality stuff. At yeah. Road. It's got uh, five cold shoe mounts as well. So you oh, can yeah. get, you know, uh, microphones, lights, a uh, whole bunch of accessories. And it's also got uh, cable slots here, so cable management slots. Yeah, yeah. So you can just pull them right in. Nice and tidy. Yeah. That's great. So that's the phone case. All right, what else you got? And then, but every time I try to email you or anyone, I don't care. Hey, are you selling these now, or is this just for here? No, we're the two. Two weeks away, we're going to be ready. Two weeks away, you're going to be able to get the colored. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The because WS14 is yeah. this works great on the old pod bike, by the way, which I've done with my this new one. This is an old pod bike. Oh, it is. There you go. This one of course is. it is. So yeah. Um, yeah. So they work with either the pod mic USB or the pod mic. Yeah. So then this is the magnetic mount. I'm like, so I got a carbon. Wait, wait. That's the magnetic mount. What does that mean? So it's the same magnet that's on the phone cage. All right. So again, you just connect your mag. Oh, mag okay. iPhone. And then you've got the. So then you have, it comes with these three attachments. So I'm going to switch this around. <laughs> Maybe I'll switch this around. There we go. All right. So it comes with uh, two cold shoe arms. So you got a short one. Yeah. And then you have a long one. So that means if you're shooting in, uh, you know, if you're shooting vertical content, oh, yeah, you yeah. put the microphone on the top, you can just slot that in there, and that can be your setup. That's awesome. That's uh, awesome. It also comes with this long arm with a quarter inch thread. 
Yeah, that means you can easily connect it to a tripod, a desktop stand. Yeah, that could be your vlog. No. Yeah, you could get it right there. That's awesome. Very cool. So yeah, those are the three new products. Oh, those are great. WS14 coming out soon. Well, it's a. I really like the PodMic USB. I've, I've, uh, I did a video on it. It did yeah, really yeah. well. I enjoyed it. Um, I let me try to. I'll try to come by and get an uh, interview yeah, with Ryan, Ryan here. He's much better than I am. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, did, I did not say that. You did not hear me say that. I did not. But I get to get on because I got people listening, and I'm going to get them to uh, some of the other things here on the floor show. I'll come by. I'll bring a different camera tomorrow too because I'm really having a hard time. Getting yeah, it locked in. A little bit on this yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on this. This is a Pocket Three, and I'm yeah, trying yeah. to get it all. All set up. See if I can't set it up and cool. figure out how to use it. Catch you tomorrow then. All right, man. See ya. See ya. Thanks. Well, that was great. I'm so glad I found Rode because this is one of the companies that I really like and they've been really nice to me and I'll get an interview with them as well. Hi. How you doing? Yeah, there you go. Well, there's some nice glass. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the other thing about coming to NAB is you see all kinds of things you can't afford. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Good to see it though. Yeah, it is good to see it. All right, let's get going. Well, the B&H booth always has interesting things, and it looks like Rode hit out in the B&H booth, and apparently they did that last year, and I didn't even notice, so that's my bad. Oh, free stickers. I love stickers. I'm a sucker for stickers. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. It's kind of fun. I'm actually live streaming now, so there you go. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm I'm trying to figure it out. There you go. Yeah, and uh, hopefully I'll get it figured out. Thanks. The other thing about NAB is everyone's friendly. Maybe it's just because they're all salespeople, right? Are salespeople just generally friendly? Is that how this works? Looks like we've got something else going on here that I don't know what it is. So we'll just keep moving. Lots of tripod companies, lots of lighting companies, uh, all kinds of different things. And then, of course, you know, I'll be going along and I'll see this company here and I'll say, I don't know who these people are. Oh, GVM, I think I have heard about them. They do have these, oh yeah, these panel lights. Okay, I lied, I think I do know what they are. I haven't used any of their lights though. Well, maybe I'll have to swing back here and check them out a little later. But, yeah, so much to see which is one of the reasons that I'm here for three days. And this is just day number one. Now this is the Zayum or Zayun or whatever booth. Never really know how to pronounce that. But this is a great company. They make all sorts of interesting things. Of course, they make the crane, which is their um, gimbal that is very popular. I have not used that myself, but I have uh, tried some of their lights. They're very good, and uh, I think they're going to send me some other lights here soon. Uh, I'm working on that. Of course, we're getting away some freebies. How you doing? Which is always good. And then, of course, you know, they have their light setup, which is a small light. I did a video on this little light, the M20. And then, of course, they have some new lights here as well. And maybe, just maybe, I'll get my hands on one of those and review it as well. Let's see what we got here. These guys are great. I'll tell you what's cool. This is the coolest thing. We're from Hong Kong. This little thing. I'm trying to get them to let me review one of these. Maybe he'll show it to me. Hello. How you doing? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm live streaming. Yeah, I am. I wanted to see this little smoke in action. Oh yeah. See if I can give show my audience just a little bit here. Okay, I'm gonna stand back here and let you do it. Yeah. Although I don't know what I've got for a microphone, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. So okay. this is our smoke oh, ninja. Jeez. That is so much smoke from a little that thing. Is. Oh. And so if you want to perform more like a smoke bomb, this is what it looks like, yeah. right? Really dense. And then once you add the nozzles, yeah. it's very precise. So you can have it on your hand. You decide Wait where that. you want it. It does not stain clothes. It's not, it's safe for the hair and the body. Yeah. You, you don't have cancer yet? <laughs> you, you look, you don't look well though. I'm not saying that. I'm You're... tired from the whole, whole day. Yeah, so. But yeah, it's gonna be a long day. So. Yeah. Really nice. Oh, it's yeah. actually very food grade. So um, we've did all the testing. It's food actually, grade? It's so, food grade. So you can eat it? Yeah. yeah. Did you get... Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's actually uh, Actis Equity certified. 
It's also oh, yeah. way leak certified. Also, it's uh, we did an independent lab testing uh, with yeah. SGS. So we tested for inhalation, ingestion, oh. skin irritation, or eye irritation. So wait, wait did you just put that on your eye? Yeah. Really? Completely safe. <laughs> the glasses is moving up, but yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So actually, well, we're very huge on safety. We don't yeah. want this to be like dangerous for models. Or, oh, yeah. yeah. Because once you're using this for all commercial purposes, your client was going to ask you for insurance and all that stuff. Yeah. You can't afford to use something that's not safe. It seemed like there was a, a well priced as well. How much was it again? The full kit is $249. $249. It's coming up a starter kit that's around $199. Okay. So it's actually a more full But come on, with the, with the full kit, you get other things like dry ice mode and all kinds of stuff, don't you? Remote, you get the, a remote uh, case, right? I like you that. A bottle of liquid, you get, yeah. uh, you magnetic mount yeah so have you seen the magnetic mount so this is the real fun part oh yeah yeah it attaches detaches uh -huh. put it on and with the remote you go like that it's on oh yeah and there we go and then so, you remote it yeah so actually i have the other remote on sorry this is, right. this is not the same one I oh yeah no i got it no, no you know what let's do it again so let's do it all right <laughs> well it's live streaming so you know it's live oh. tv oh, oh, it's all, it's all good oh, well you're live streaming i'm doing it it's, it's happening Okay, cool. I think. We'll find out when yeah. I get home. If not, I'll just play it again. All right, so here we go. And now it's going on. Oh, from the triggered remote. Oh, that's really cool because you can put it in a little box or something, trigger just when you need it. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, man. Can I, can I see that? For the bag? Sounds like a smoking deal. Can you do, can you do dry ice for me? <laughs> oh, definitely. So, you can see. I'll need, I'll need this now. So. I, have, I have magnetic on my phone too, so I was wondering yeah. if I could Yeah, the, yeah? it's a ring, so it's yeah. not strong enough. So, all right, here, check this out. So, I'm checking it. So, you know what? You could do like dry ice on the machine itself. Again, it's so safe. Oh, yeah. It's fine. That is crazy. And you can close it up and say, here's our brand new product. Wow. Oh. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. That's right. That's clever. Well, this is hard. Oh, That's great. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do this after the live stream. So yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, it's like. Oh man. Instant dry ice, pretty much. Yeah. That's crazy. Really That's crazy. Cool. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Thank right. you so much. We'll talk later. Enjoy. Have a good day. Yeah, that's pretty cool, and pretty cheap, really. I'm gonna see. I'm trying to talk him into sending me one so I can review it for you. Wouldn't that be cool? And if not, I'll probably end up having to buy one. But don't tell them that because I'm trying to get them to give me one. But for product shots and things like that, you know, it could come in handy. Well, we haven't wandered too far from the Sony booth. We just kind of wandered around the B&H booth. Of course, there's all kinds of prizes being given out. 40% off of something. Okay, but there's a line for that. So I'm not doing that. Not worth the line to get 40% off something I don't want, but I don't even know what it is. Oh, yeah, they make cases. I've heard those cases are really good. Well, this is kind of fun. I don't know why I like coming here so much. Well, I do know why I come in here, because I like electronic gadgets. I mean, who doesn't? Well, sure, there's somebody out there who doesn't, but I don't know anybody. So let's see what we've got over here. So this is Nanlite, and Nanlite booth, well, They've got their uh, Pavo panels, I think, is what they're pushing this time. And, you know, I will admit, I have not used Nanlites, but I know they're good. <laughs> but these little panels are supposed to be all that. And you know what? Everybody's got panels now. But those, uh, you know, full RGB panels, they seem... So pretty nice. Here's the one by one. Yeah, the Pablo Slim. And uh, one thing I do like about these things is they seem pretty sturdy. Like they're just, you know, they're a frame. They're not uh, like a mat or something, you know? So they really have some sturdiness to it. And they, my OCD is like helped by this because, you know, it doesn't sag or bend or anything. It's uh, actually pretty impressive. I don't know what the costs are of those things. So we'll see what happens. They just got announced. I haven't seen any pricing on that, but it's probably out there. I'm a little behind the times, but there's another one. Is that a two by two? Yeah, it's nice. 
Of course, anytime you get a light that's really big and super bright, oh yeah, here we go. Four by one, two by two, two by a half. There we go, two, and a, two by one, one by one. But the same time you get anything of any great size, you really have to put one of these real big ballasts on. And that, you know, adds something else that you've got to put on a C-stand and, yeah, put some weight on. So I'm very interested to see the, how, how much these are priced. Of course, I get some really nice ones here. One thing about Nanlite, and of course, Aperture as well, is they have some that can take a little weather. Like, for example, this Nanlux here. Yeah, I like this. I, I wonder if it's the same light they put in here every year and they just keep drenching the same light over and over again. Might be because this is, uh, this is a display I've seen a number of times. Oh, here's another little thing. So here's some people talking about stuff. you got into cinema and lighting, you also had a background in... Environmental science. Thank you. Well, there you go. I did see Shane Hurlbut uh, do a little uh, demonstration over here a little earlier. That was pretty cool. I do like him. He uh, taught me a lot watching him on YouTube. And it was kind of fun to see him present. In fact, you see that a lot of times. You see uh, creators that you know, then they will have somebody who's, um, they'll bring in creators here to give a little demonstration and stuff. So I've seen a lot of people here. I saw Josh Yo here. Uh, somewhere. Where was that? Oh, I think that was a DJI. Well, anyway, here now at my, one of my favorite booths. This is the Aperture booth and the Amaran booth. And of course, well, there's a big light for you. Yeah. The electro storms are pretty big. You know, Aperture's coming out with some pretty big stuff. Oh, yeah. And apparently they have a full bar. Who knew? They didn't have this earlier. All they had was some kind of coffee, as I recall. Anyway. Good. Yeah, so these are uh, the people at Aperture, and I actually know some of these people here at Aperture. They've been really, really nice to me. And of course, they do the same thing. They set up and light up all their little things with, this is the new Affinimat, which is kind of like the Affinibars, which you see over there, except these are mats. And one of them is this huge 20 foot by 20 foot one here. And you can see they can do all sorts of different colors to do environmental lighting. I did an entire video about the Infinibars yeah. and environmental lighting. You can see that, I'll post that when this gets replayed. Well, the big thing is these Infinimats, of course, come in a huge size. They come in a lot of different sizes. Of course, these are the B7Cs in the case. Over there, we've got the MC Pros in their case. But over here, if I can sneak over here to these mats, well, of course, Amaran has their own mats, which I think are going to be cheaper and probably more my speed than the Nanlite ones, but who knows? We'll look at the price. The other advantage, the other great advantage to the inflatable, besides the speed of it and the portability of it, is that if you look at the grid here, you see that it's nice and even, it's not drooping. And, and the same on the 4 bio. It, it is the structure to the light. It, it is the shape. So you don't have to sit there and I mean, when the things sag, then it stops the light from traveling the way you want. So it, it doesn't work efficiently. So this together is actually a very, it's a better map. So they have a variety of different mats. And as you can tell, they uh, do a blow up system. So it's, a, it's kind of a soft box that's blown up. Now, you can't put helium in it and raise them up in the air. But you can use them very well. Yeah. There's Alexandra. I'm just going to say hi. How you doing? Good to see you. Looking good. Thank you. All right. We'll see you later. Um, yeah, she's the one, my contact here for doing my Aperture videos, and she's fantastic, as well as a uh, number of people down here. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to have a interview with someone here at Aperture, I think, 
might even be Ted Sim himself, who, by the way, saw me and gave me a really big hug when he saw me, which made me feel really good. Ted is just a fantastic guy. I don't see him on the floor here anymore right now, but he's usually around somewhere. He's probably doing something super important. And there's Brandon, of course, who was in, he was employee of the month in my video, so you might have recognized him. I talked to him for a while as well. So good to see Brandon. I'll leave him alone. No, I get mine brought in. And of course, maybe I should have waved because then you'd say, oh yeah, sure you know Brandon. Brandon's actually uh, doing uh, development and stuff in China right now. He's going to be there for quite a while. He's been there for quite a while already, but he came here to NAB. It was good to catch up with him. I saw him uh, in previous NABs, and he was kind enough to give me some demonstrations for my channel as well. The Aperture people are just some of the nicest people that I've ever met, and I love their products. One of the products I'm trying to get my hands on is this one, the Amaranth 300C pen with a spotlight mount. And so that's something I'm hoping to do. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Good, good. Big fan, that's by the way. Yeah, yeah that's so, awesome. Yeah, it's good to see you. to see you. Tell me your name. Mark Arnett. Mark, where are you from? I'm from Arizona. You know, very good. The little YouTube channel there, and I'm actually live streaming right here. So very good. There you go. Awesome. Yeah. So have you seen this? Hey, have you seen, you good. Have you seen this little guy? I have seen him. Yes, I have. It's actually pretty amazing, and it has a little a little wireless mic, and that's awesome. Side, it makes it really easy. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. That's so what do you think about Aperture? Oh. I first met Aperture when Ted had one light. <laughs> so, All right, you, you beat, know, I've been with you beat me. The beginning. Ted did say hi to me earlier today, so that was nice. I've, I've been I've been uh, hounding Aperture because I use all their lights. Yeah, that's all my yeah, stuff. So. Oh. I love the side of sleep gap. I'm just addicted to not getting up. I guess that's exactly. what I'm, being lazy yeah, is my that. is my thing. But this is kind of fun. Yeah, so you can really you awesome. can actually get it around in selfie mode that's and awesome. kind of line it up however you want and i don't know that's incredible right? it's a one inch sensor yeah, it's better than i thought it would be yeah and you got a, your live stream right now well yes i think i'm going i'm going to record this and then just put it out yeah because i had a i i failed at live streaming i tried to do it and it didn't really work so I'm going to live stream and then play this. Live stream is always hard. I don't know. Have you done much of that? Yeah, we have some. It's always fun. <laughs> oh. You do this with family, don't you? The, well, my wife and I work together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. 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 And I have another guy, uh, Kenneth. Some people think he's my son, but he's not. <laughs> uh, you got a daughter on some of your episodes. I have photographed my kids yeah. a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's good. Where, where, where are you out of? Los Angeles, Burbank. Los Angeles. Oh, okay. That's good. Well, I watch all your stuff, so it's always good to see it. I've learned a lot from it over the years. I'm a documentary filmmaker by trade. You know, I came here, I've been coming here 30 years to NAB. And, um, you know, but back then it was like beta SP, standard yeah, definition, and I got to watch the entire digital revolution. So, and, uh, and you and I both. I shot everything. Wasn't on film. it fun? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, didn't, beginning. I didn't shoot anything on film. Really? You, you oh, got me I in there. No, no. Years on film. I, uh, I came a little late to the game on, on that. But, uh, no, I didn't do film, but I went straight to video. But video was, it was very bad in the 90s. Yeah. It just was, I mean, now my iPhone is better than the $200,000 camera that Sony had at the time. I was just, Absolutely. It's great. Well, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks so much. You're welcome. You All right. Day. See ya. Well, that was fun for me. He's someone that I follow, so. I'll put a link to him as well you know, when I get a chance to edit this up a little bit, which who knows when that's going to be. Well, oh, let's see. It's kind of hard to walk around with this thing. It's just, oh, there's Hollyland. You guys interested in Hollyland? Oh, sorry. I can't ask questions because I don't have an ability to stream and see what people are actually saying as I'm talking. So let's just let's go to Hollyland anyway. Hollyland. They've got a new wireless mic system that people are kind of raving about. Everybody's got a wireless mic system. And part of me is like, eh, is any one of them that much better than the others? I like the DJI mic too, but you know, that's because I know it. I've been, I had the DJI mic one and I love that. And so worked pretty good for me. Let's just see what we got here at Hollyland. Yeah, to keep presentation. There we go. At Hollyland, they've got they started kind of like a comm system. So like if you've got a multi-camera shoot or something, everybody's wearing headsets. Here, let me show you some headsets over here. I'll get over here, a little closer. Yeah, these. 
wireless headset units, which is great. So you can talk while you're doing it, you know, cut your camera two, cut three, you know, move in for a wide shot or something. There's always a model around somewhere where you can sit there and play with the cameras. So Hollyland, I think, has a new yeah, thing. I'm going to look around to try to find it. That's their little microphone. It's probably with these guys here. No, that's all the comm stuff. You can see all the comm stuff. I don't know where that little mic is. Okay, this is where the secret deals are made, right here behind the fern, apparently. Well, I don't think that's a fern. Whatever plant that is. Let's see if I can find. Yeah, okay. Nope. Not finding it yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, somewhere out here, I bet they're going to have it. You know, this would be a good place to, to look. Oh, yeah. Well, there they are, the Lark M1, the wireless mic system, of course, the Max. And there she's got in her hand the little guy. And I can get it here. Whoops. Squeeze around here. Wait, it was in her hand. There it is. It's right back there. That little thing is a wireless mic. And you can't put anything in it, but you just hang it around your neck. And it's magnetic. And it's tiny. And that's the entire mic. That's clever. And you can put stickers on it, apparently. Hmm, I'm not sure. I would do that, but uh, that's something else I'd like to try out in the future. But I have a system that works, and sometimes having a system that works is better than keep buying, chasing the best of what's out there. So I don't know. I did jump from the um, DJI Mic 1 to the DJI Mic 2. And you know what? I really like it, but there are some downsides to it. I'll try to make a little video about the DJI Mic 2 and tell you what those downsides are a little later. So if you would subscribe, that would be awesome. Well, there's all kinds of things and people here. Welcome to the DJI booth, everybody. Oh, yeah, here DJI. At the DJI booth, we'll be having Donovan Davis covering the cinematic Aerial King the Inspire 3. So come on by the DJI booth and we'll be starting the Inspire 3 workshop momentarily. I was here when Josh O was presenting. That was nice. I think I mentioned that. But you know, here's the new thing and that is the new Avada. And guess what? I got to actually uh, fly one of these things and I was surprised how easy it was to fly. Look at this. This is a person flying this thing and they've never flown it before, and they're going right through because it's so simple. Here, let's see the guy right there doing it. Yeah, there we go. Let's squeeze around here. Whoops. Yeah, um, if I uh, had more money than cents, I would buy that immediately because it is such a blast to fly. And they made it for beginners. FPV zone, oh, look at that. So now right here on that screen up there, you can actually see what's being seen in the goggles as he flies it. That's nice. And I'm really glad that they have a place where you can go and try this stuff out because I probably, I'm probably more apt to buy it now that I've tried it and realize that I can than having seen it and thinking, well, I don't want to get it and crash it. And it might be too hard and I don't have time to learn it and those types of things. So. That's another thing I love about NAB. Well, here's Sure Microphones. And they're having a little drawing, of course, to give away their new little product. Oh, guess what they have? They have a microphone. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Just showing this up, doing a little live streaming. A little Sure Microphone here. No lab inputs, but just this clips on, this is like clips right on your shirt, right? Yep. And that's the mic there on that side, right? I think I got that. I hope I got that. And you're giving one of these away? Yeah. Scan that QR code over there. All right. I'll do it. Thanks so much. Hey, man. Of course. Again, every company has a mic like the DJI mic. And 
I don't know. They all have their benefits. But all you really need is good sounding audio. And you can get that for most of them. Let's see, where are we now? Okay. So, I guess, whoops. Vertical, this uh, is sorry, small rig. Vertical interface. This is the new interface that small rig has developed for this cage. It is a shoe attachment, as you can see here. It slides on there. We got power delivery. That would be USB another USB cage USB for USB your iPhone. So you can see that content creators are getting everything. Everybody has something for the content creator. One thing that Small Rig does have, though, is a new battery. And this new battery is kind of exciting because it has a, a, a lot of power in it can do a lot of things. I happen to have this uh, 50 right here, which is a B mount and clips in very well and allows me to do all kinds of things. But now they have a 212. Do you know how much that is? Uh, it's about $439. $439? OK, I, I got one in my bag from earlier, but thank you. But anyway, these batteries are pretty awesome. And I was talking to some people at some of the other booths, and guess what? They're coming out with batteries, too. And I suspect that everybody's going to have a battery. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Well, here's a teleprompter. So I can stand here and read off the teleprompter. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, I'm wandering around a little bit. Not sure I saw everything. There's Sennheiser over there. There's Atomos. Let's go over there. I haven't been to the Atomos booth, but they used to have a huge booth here. And they had this huge giveaway. And they made lots of noise and got in all kinds of trouble with the convention center. But now. They're kind of a small little gathering, but they do have a new um, thing. It's it's a way that you can basically, instead of buying a Ninja that has a screen on it, you can get the, um, I think the HDMI connectors, and you can do it straight from your phone. So you can take your phone and turn it into a monitor some way, and it's less expensive than the Ninja 5, I think. At least that's what I was kind of getting at. Again, there's always something to video at NAB. But we'll get to Sennheiser a little bit. You can think so. All right, I'm going to sneak in here and see if I can figure out. cards, and that's not the solution necessarily. Oh, sorry. But, uh, they make lights now. You make lights now? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Is that their new iPhone camera uh, Ninja thing? Ninja phone, yes. The Ninja phone. So it, how does it, 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 it how does it get the signal? Right. So there's a, a processor in the back. Okay. The, the you get it, this case. Okay. That's specially designed, so the processor clips on. Okay. And the the processor does the ProRes encoding. And that goes into the phone through the USB 3 connection. So imagine that's a camera. Right. So the HDMI input into the processor in the back. And so this becomes a full blown Ninja uh, monitor with both recording capabilities. You can record about up to three hours or a little more over the three hours on a, a one terabyte phone. And you can stream to any of the cloud services. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, it'll run off a battery, it'll run off of external power supply or uh, power off a camera if you have it. All right, I'm gonna get a video of the back here a little bit. Let's see what's that. Doesn't look, oh yeah, well it's got a giant battery on the back. That's for sure. And yeah, well, I can kind of see that. Well, if it were me, uh, I would just get an Ninja 5 because I don't want to have to get a phone call in the middle of my shoot. But it's kind of cool. They're always thinking. They're always doing something. Always. Well, I'm getting kind of the end here. It seems like there was another booth back here somewhere that I was gonna gonna stop by and see. Not sure. Well, might have missed it. You're probably getting as tired as I am. Let's sneak by Sennheiser and make our way over to Canon, and that might be our last stop. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry.
Sadly, I didn't stop by Sennheiser earlier, so I don't know if they have anything new. Oh, we could just ask them if they have anything new. Let's see what they have. Well, I'm sure they have something new, right? There's a Looks like a new interface. Oh no, that's a Neumann. That's a high-end interface that they're using to show off their fancy microphones. I like that though. Isn't that the microphone we saw earlier? Here's something you see a lot, and that's people doing exactly what I'm doing. Broadcasting from NAB. In fact, I think this whole event is really designed for this place to go and show off. Yeah, maybe that's why I like it. There's the Tilda company, which I think they make a grip equipment, stuff like that. Yeah. It's good. Oh, yeah. I might as well. What is, what is this? Oh, I don't even know what it is and I want one. Okay, fair, fair enough, I'll take it. Thank you so much. All right, let me get this in my bag. Small accessories. Yeah? Everything here as well. All right, I'll go check it, I'll go check it out. Yeah, I don't know if I can get that. A lot of stuff. I got too much stuff in my bag. That's really what it comes down to. Too much stuff That's in my bag. I get, you know, I can't pass up free crap. I don't know what it is. It's a disease, really. I get home and I go, why do I even have this? So a lot of times cameras are all rigged out and it's places like Tilda that provide all these machine things that make that work really well. Oh, look at this. Oh man, I'm digging that. How close can you get in? But I keep bumping my tripod. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Then, of course, you can check it out on the monitor. All right, let's get a little shot of the, uh, of the coming out of the tunnel. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, kind of fun. You know, I've always wanted to put a uh, camera on top of my car. Yeah. All right, I think we're almost there. They're spinning a wheel. Someone's gonna win something. Somebody's always gonna win something. There's JVC, I had a JVC camera. They used to have a much bigger booth too. All right, let's just get down to Canon and let's kind of wrap up the first day of NAB. If you have something that you would like me to show you from NAB, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do another video on day two or day three. Now, I really do like Canon, always goes all out. I don't think they have anything new because I looked at uh, their website a little earlier, but they always have okay. a great stage. Sounds good, thanks Robert. And usually great music. There was a band here earlier that I really enjoyed and of course, this gal's fantastic. So, yeah, now Canon, of course, does a lot of high-end videography, and they've got a lot of very expensive equipment. Oh, that's something you don't see every day. Well, unless you have a yellow ribbon and you like that kind of thing, and then you probably do see it every day. Yeah. All sorts of beautifully lit sets for everyone to check out the cameras with. Yeah, and then of course you can talk to an expert. 
And so they have these people here. It's very much like the Sony booth where you can just go up and find your camera and get someone who will tell you exactly what your questions are and get them answered. And they have their whole lineup. And it's all right here. Different options. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks so much for watching. I'm so glad that you stopped by. And let me know in the comments if you want me to do this again, because I kind of like it. And I really like being here at NAB. I know, I'm kind of weird that way. Well, I'll see you. Hey, thanks for watching.